Hey, this is Kurt Othmer from EEG Info, and I want to show you the new 2016 Advanced Media Player. Some awesome features here to make your lives easier, easier to launch Advanced Media Player now. Also includes a new Kindle reader, especially for home use. Also includes a YouTube player, so you can actually use YouTube to do neurofeedback with YouTube. This is great fun. Let me take you into Advanced Media Player. So we launch Advanced Media Player right here from the new right panel. Here in the right panel, we've got feedback and report and graphs, these new great features. So we go to the feedback tab, and here we hit Advanced Media Player. You can also go to the second monitor where you have this feedback window, and we can click feedback there as well. So we click feedback. This takes us directly into Advanced Media Player. Remember before where you had to open a window and then the next window opened the next window and then there was another window and uh, window after window after window. Now this takes you directly into the player. This is beautiful. And from the top, you can select what you want. Do you want to play a DVD, play a file, play list, actually plays a sequence of files, play clips. Those are the old clips. Remember those? They were built into Advanced Media Player. Here's the Kindle Reader and here's the YouTube. A couple things I skipped over. Play DVD as file. This is more for tech support. If you're having trouble with the play DVD, you can do play DVD as file, and that can sometimes help play a DVD that's not working otherwise. So let's start here at play clips. We can go in, grab one of those old familiar clips. This old window opens up. This is a nice place to start because the feedback is already built in. So here it's saying session recording playback stopped. Wait, what do I do, Kurt? Quick call tech support. Ah, I have to hit play in Signet. And now Advanced Media Player starts going as the EEG goes across, the spectral display is moving, and now Advanced Media Player starts playing. I can hit full screen, fill that screen if I want to. So there's the clip. Now, once I'm playing a clip, I don't need to select any effect because the effect is already built into the clip. But what if I want to get back out of here and I want to get back into the normal advanced media player? I'm going to go over here and hit select feedback, and that's going to take me back to advanced media player and back into advanced media player here. Now, once I'm back in Advanced Media Player, let's go Play File. That's what we use here a lot. If we don't have a physical DVD to play, we're going to use Play File, and that's going to allow us to choose a file here on the hard drive. I grabbed this little NFL special on neurofeedback, so let me grab that, and it'll start playing. Now, unlike the clips, here it says no feedback effect selected. What does that mean? It means that I'm not doing any neurofeedback right now. There's no biofeedback, no neurofeedback happening. There's no effect. So I'm just watching a movie. This is just as good as watching a movie. Nothing is happening. How do I pick an effect? Well, if you're over here on the report screen and you're creating a report for your client or the graphs, that can be a little confusing. Remember to go back to this feedback tab here. And in the feedback tab, I have effects. We like the shrink effect for the infralow training. So I'm going to click shrink. Notice that big yellow message that said no feedback selected, this message. Now it's gone when I choose shrink. And notice the movie is shrinking. It's changing size. The music volume and the audio volume will be going up and down. You'll also see this gray fog fading in and fading out. And so now Advanced Media Player is working. Let me show you a really cool advancement. So here in the feedback tab, if I go down to control, I can actually choose my location in that file. I can jump back to the beginning, or let's say I was just watching a movie with a client in the last session, and we were 29 minutes into that movie, and then we had to stop. I want to go back to that 29-minute location. I can hit this little Control button here. So again, next to Effects, here's Control. I can grab this little slider, slide that out to 29 minutes into that movie, and it'll jump right to that location. Really convenient. It's also down here on the bottom of the file. I can change and jump locations in the movie that way as well, on the bottom of Advanced Media Player. But right here in this Control bar, I can change the location, which is really useful. I also then have selector buttons for YouTube and Kindle Reader here, which is kind of cool because then I don't have to go on to the client screen. But here on the client screen, let's go ahead and jump into the Kindle Reader. 
So I'm going to click the Kindle Reader here. Notice a new window pops up, says no effect selected, just like before. I do have to pick an effect. But unlike before, it's not here under Effects in Signet in the right panel. Now it is here in the Player window. And I have Shrink or color. So first let me pick a book. I'm going to choose Brian's Legacy here. No personal bias there at all. So I'm going to pick uh, Brian's Legacy and then I'm going to choose Shrink. Notice it is changing size. I also have the opportunity to try color and now the color will fade in and fade out with the reward amplitude and then the inhibits are that gray fog. I want to turn up my volume here and show you I have these two options for sound. I'm going to unmute here and turn up my volume. If I turn on the little music here, can you guys hear that? So there's a little music that goes along with the reward amplitude and the inhibits. And then I also have this white noise. If I click here, I can add, it's that same sort of sparkly white noise that you guys are used to from InnerTube, where you sort of hear that, that whoosh sound kind of go in and out. And that's part of the feedback. So along with reading, you can have music and sound and that moving with the reward amplitude, it gets louder and softer, along with the bear as well, right? You'll feel that tactile get louder and softer and you'll hear the volume of that whoosh sound get louder and softer. Another thing that's really useful when you're using the Kindle is the game controller. So here in the game controller, I click into the Kindle window here and now I can go right and left with my game controller in this Kindle window and it will change the page. So that's really nice, especially you're sitting at home, you're doing a session at home and you're reading along in your book and you wanna change pages. You just go with that game controller right or left. Really useful there. I can also use my mouse here and these little arrows light up and I can hit left and right there. It's that easy. Let's go back to Media Player. That'll take me back in here to my normal Media Player, which gives me YouTube as an option. Also here in the controller, remember the YouTube is an option there as well. And let's check out the new YouTube player. Click this, looks a lot like the Kindle player, and now I'm in YouTube. So I'm using something called YouTube Red. What YouTube Red does is it takes away the ads. That's really nice. If somebody's paying for a neurofeedback session, kind of rude to uh, play ads at them. I've been showing off this one thing if I search for TSO photography. Some beautiful stuff in here. And I love this one, the mountain. There's also, you can search for TSO photography playlists and you get these uh, time-lapse photography playlists. I'm gonna hit the mountain here. This is just a beautiful video. You hear the music. I'm gonna expand this to full screen. Notice that means full screen for this little player. It doesn't mean full screen for the window. To do that, I've got to go way up here, and then I hit full screen. Now I get full screen for the whole window. But I'm going to bring that down just so you can see Signet and the YouTube player at the same time. So this is really cool. I can shrink this back down again. But notice I've still got no effect. So I need shrink or box. Shrink shrinks the whole screen, even with the player. If I'm browsing videos, it shrinks the whole thing. And if I do a box, it sort of occludes, so it's a little harder to navigate, sort of occludes the video, covers it over with a box. Whereas shrink is sort of our preferred method, it shrinks the whole screen. And that's what we tend to use over in the video playback and the DVD playback as well. And that's a big rough overview of the new advanced media player and all the features available. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the new ease of use. Now it's just as quick as launching it, choosing a file, and you're off and running. So it makes it a whole lot easier. Hope you enjoy it. I'm Kurt Othmer from EEG Info. Thank you so much.